Hi, this tutorial is for Lightburn uh, to produce some overlaid text uh, on top of another overlay. I have this shown at the top of my uh, screen here. Uh, this is a screenshot I just took of the overlaid text, the type of, uh, type of overlay we're trying to reproduce. So what we want to do is we want to have this overlaid. In this case, it says Dave. That's uh, overlaid on top of another word, uh, presumably like a last name or something. And it has like an kind of an offset um, border around it to kind of protect the front name. So we're going to reproduce this. Uh, I have here on the screen rear text. This is the stuff that goes behind. And we're going to put some new text in front here. Uh, so we're going to make some new text here, front text. Um, and then we're going to change its size. We'll make it like uh, make it like 15. Uh, it doesn't really matter which fonts, so I haven't used any any specific fonts for this. So we're going to move this so it's right in place in front where we want it. And then we're going to uh, we're going to offset that shape. Um, so we're going to use this offset shapes button. Um, so we're going to make an offset shape, and we're going to make it. Uh, you know, just depend on what size we want it. So we'll just offset by one millimeter. And we're not going to delete the original objects. We want to keep those. And so this is going to create like an outline around the object. Uh, so we're going to ungroup that. Uh, you can shortcut is control U to ungroup. And then we're going to use that shape. And we're going to control select the rear text shape uh, so we have both of them selected and then we're going to use the boolean uh, boolean difference tool uh, the shortcut for this is control b um, and if it does not work for you um, let's see why here i suspect one of these needs to be converted to a shape to converted to a path yeah so the rear text needs to be converted to a path in order for this to work um, but anyways, we will select our piece again now that we've converted that to a path. On the path. Oh, I see what the problem is. So these need to be grouped. So we're going to select all these. Minus these. Minus this. So we'll group that, and then we'll select this guy. And let's try it again. There we go. Uh, so basically, if you you have to have only two objects selected, and in this case, the rear text was in each one, each letter was individual object. So I had to group those first. So I grouped all the rear texts. It's one object, and then the outline of the front text is the other object. Um, and then I hit Control B uh, for Boolean, and this gives you several different options here. Um, and when you mouse over them, uh, it's going to show you the difference between those. So a union would just be uh, kind of one shape uh, joined with the other one, which is not quite what we want. Um, intersection is where the two shapes overlap. That's also not what we want. Um, and then there's the, the difference ones are the ones we want. There's a Boolean difference, um, but there's two different options. It's A minus B and B minus A. And really these are the same. It just depends on which order the objects were selected in. That's why they offer both. And so what we want is a difference, A minus B in this case. Um, but depending on which order you selected things, it could be B minus A. Um, so click, click that and click OK. Um, it now has the rear text um, minus the kind of the protective border. Now there's a couple um, there's a couple spots where there's going to be some fixing that's needed for whatever reason. It did not work over here, um, and I'm not really sure why it should have. Um, it probably has to do with something being inside the shape. I don't, I'm not really sure. But you'll have to play with this. This gives you kind of a general idea of how that um, how that Boolean difference tool works. Um, it does take a little practice to get the hang of it, 
but uh, this is definitely what you're looking for to create your shapes. Hope that helps.